Valentine, welcome back to my channel, and I'm here with another video. So today's video is going to be a lock style part two, because I feel like I've done a part one. If you haven't seen that, go watch that video. He knows when I'm filming, so he's like, I'm gonna be as loud as I can, so she'll stop and play with me. But no, nope, I'll put this video on hold for long enough. But anyways, this video or this hairstyle was in my first video. It's just the side ponytail, half up, half down. Um, yeah, I just pull a good bit of the front up into a ponytail and then I wrapped it with two locks. So yeah, this is gonna be, I guess, style one and a half or yeah. We're gonna let it down. We're gonna shake it out. And I feel like first is my bun. This is my professional bun. This is my go-to look. I have an interview. I'm gonna put my hair up like this. So you start with pulling up. Start same way, like a half up, half down. I have to adjust my camera so I can get the bun. So first you take your hair tie. I just do it one time. You just wanna put your bun where you want your top not to be. That's step one. Then you have these in the back. You're gonna pull those up, take another hair tie, and you're going to pull it over one more time. And this is how you get that top knot, messy bun. And just take bobby pins and like pin your stragglies, or you can tuck them in the bun, but bobby pins are a little more secure. That way, when you're in there, getting that job whatever that may be you give it sleek put together but yeah this is this is my go-to bun so sometimes i go to work a lot of the times this is how i wear my hair to work because it's super easy super fast and it's just giving what it needs to what it needs to give also this is my art wall it's growing um, I want to cover like this whole wall, but we'll get there. But anyways, yeah, hairstyle number, we're going to say this was number one because I did the side ponytail in our last video. All right. So shake the hair back down. The next one I would say is my bang bun half up half down i love a half up half down but anyway so you grab you step first you step right out your bang pieces i got like four four or five should do it i don't want too many because then i'm the whole day i'm just like and i don't i don't need that i don't need to be giving debbie ryan all day at work but you want to make sure you leave enough down and then you're going to just create another top knot you want to make sure you're keeping your hair in line step over that's why my guy right here wasn't in line so first we're going to create another top knot take my hair tie and pull it you can do one or two um it kind of depends this is when i want a smaller bun usually i do a, like a big top knot so let's do that. So for this option, make sure you're not grabbing your bang. This is usually how I do it. And then I take my whatever pieces are left out. I wrap them around the bun and I pin them with a bobby pin. Now for some reason, I didn't bring any bobby pins to my recording space. And are we gonna go get them? But I think I like my bang better on this side. You could even probably pin the bang if you wanted to, but I don't know how I feel about that. But you you need to secure this bun. 
because you're going to bump it on your car when you're getting in your car if you have a low car. But yeah, bun, half up, half down. This is something I'll throw together like in the morning on the way to work. Yeah, this is another style. You could do your bun better than this, but honestly, yeah, this is usually, I just want it to be tall. I think that's what makes it a cute, a cute look. Okay, on to the next style. So. I love a good half up, half down. So, I usually leave some of my, this is one like, I know I'm gonna be working hard at work. I usually just give myself a ponytail, but I only wrap the hair tie once and then I leave like the last two rows out in the back. I really like this. It's my, I'm running late for work. I gotta go hairstyle. Super easy, super simple. As you can see, I don't spend a lot of time in the morning like stressing about how I'm gonna wear my hair. It's kind of just like, throw it together, love it, go. But yeah, it's a simple pony. If you want to get a little more intricate with it, you can. Let's see if I can braid, or it's the one that goes like back and around. So first, pushing my hair back. Then we're gonna wrap. I'm gonna do a little twist, and then start pulling from the outside. Pulling from the outside. Same thing, farthest from the outside, that's what you pull. And I probably could have put a few more on this side, but. This is my spontaneous hairstyle. Pulling from the outside still. And then I'll go. It's some screws from my stepdad put my curtains up. And he's trying to take them down, like get the screws. And like, he will eat them, like he, he does not care about his life when it comes to if I think this could be a snack. Remy's gonna try to eat it. Like, I don't know if it's a chihuahua thing or what, but yeah, he definitely will. will try to eat it. So, usually I do my edges a little bit more, but you get the, you get the idea. In the top. Um. Yeah, these are usually my two rock star ponytails. When I wear my hair like this to work, this customer she came back looking for me. My skin is getting oily, so you can see I didn't use my matte um setting spray. But. And I wore my hair like this one day to work. This lady was like, hey, where's that artsy chick that was helping me? And I was like, I don't know if she mean like I'm artsy, like I look, you know, a little more creative. Or if she meant where's the black girl? Cause she could have meant that. But hey, I'm gonna try to think the first thing. But yeah, whenever I wear my hair like this, I just think about when that lady was like, I need to talk to the artsy girl that checked me in. You can do your bell braids neater than this. This is kind of just like fast on the go in the morning. Something I haven't mastered yet is just wearing them down. I've tried to start giving my bun a break so I'm not constantly just pulling my hair up. But I don't know. It's like if I wear it down, I feel like I'm giving Justin Bieber. Like I'm just like. I gotta get my hair out of my face. I gotta get my hair out. And I just, I don't wanna be that person at work that's just standing there flicking her hair or constantly running my fingers through my hair. So I haven't really mastered the 
wear my hair down and loose. I'm definitely um uh, um well, how would I call it? I'm definitely a style it type of girl. Pull it up in a bun, pull it back in a ponytail, something. But I mean, once you find the way you like, I kind of like this. I'm gonna wear them down. But yeah, those are some new styles I picked up. Um, thank you, Remy, for bringing me another toy. I do love to just pull it up in a little top knot, leave the rest down. And this is how I will go to the grocery store, run errands. Um, this is me playing fetch and recording a video because I am a super dog mom. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little hair tutorial video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out part one to this video. I feel like I did some pretty good ones in that one as well kind of getting jumbled up with my words but thanks so much for tuning in like comment and subscribe and i will see you in our next video between me and you i feel a chemistry i won't let no one come and take your